through the speaker, the existing master agreement still refers to the uh, the LRT. So, why are we not using? Why are you not using conditional language here? Why are you assuming, given the fact that the one-stop subway hasn't gone through the stage eight process, we haven't determined whether or not we're going to be spending the billions of dollars on it? Why is this assumption here? Given that the reality now is that we have a master agreement signed for the RT. Through the speaker, we are following council directions about the planning and delivery of the, uh, of the subway extension and, uh, and how that relates to what we're doing on, uh, on Smart Track and wanting to make sure that the SRT continues to be operational until such time as the, the subway extension is. My, my, my point is though that I'm, I'm talking about the information we get from staff rather than we are what we are asking you to, uh, it's aside from our narrative, it's just that the fact is is that our master agreement is for an LRT and this is assuming something different and we have not voted on this at the last stage of the stage gate. The other question I have is, is it not true that Metrolinx is uh, publicly, he, they publicly announced that they're undertaking a review of even the merit of moving forward with the Lawrence East Station? Through the speaker, Metrolinx uh, is reviewing both the Lawrence and the Kirby stations, but then they have expanded that through an, uh, changes to their business case process and they are updating the business cases on, on all of the new stations and uh, indeed also on a couple of other stations that were part of the process before, including Park Lawn and so there, so there may be questions about other stations, but in particular with respect to Lawrence East, is it not true that the Toronto Star uh, found that uh, there was analysis actually arguing against moving forward with the station in the first place? Through the speaker, we provided input to Metrolinx uh, about their business case, both uh, more recently and also uh, last year, that uh, pointed out a number of uh, inconsistencies or errors in the assumptions that they were making, both about growth and about ridership based on uh, some, uh, some errors in their analysis. Uh, so yes, their case did find a lower number than, than what the city considers to be the case. I, I appreciate that. So given that this is a Metrolinx project, given that Metrolinx uh, has um, perhaps accepted the findings of the Toronto Star enough to recognize that they needed to publicly announce that they would be reviewing the merit of moving forward with, this, with their project, with this station, Given that the one-stop subway extension has not been approved by council yet to replace the master agreement that we have with the province and the TTC uh, to move forward with the seven-stop RRT, why is this written in a way that advances this station while ignoring both of those basic relevant facts? Through the speaker, I will defer to the deputy city manager. Well, Madam Speaker, um, Metrolinx has not indicated that they are prepared to take the warrants out. They simply asked us for uh, some additional material which we provided them and we believe that material will demonstrate the veracity of the case for uh, Lawrence East and uh, therefore we're just acting in accordance with the directions that we've had on numerous occasions from Council with respect to that station. Uh, Madam Speaker, uh, no one has suggested that Metrolinx has announced that they're taking Lawrence East out, uh, but it is a fact that they have uh, said that they are reviewing the merit of moving forward. Why would we then be asking to advance something that is currently being reviewed by the very organization that would be responsible for this station? I, I don't understand that. Well, Madam Speaker, the uh, staff recommended and advising you that it's worth pursuing the Lawrence East Station. Yeah, I agree. We have a business case for that. Metrolinx is aware of that. We've had ongoing discussions with them, and we have every reason to believe that that station will yes. be approved. Go back to uh, so uh, given that Metrolinx has said that they're reviewing this, and you're now saying that you have every reason to believe that the station would be approved, how do you drive those two facts? Uh, you look at the facts on the business case and the additional materials that are accompanying the, this report in, in attachment number four, and I think you recently conclude that my statement that we expect it to be approved is uh, correct. Thank you. Your time's up, Councillor Matlow. Sorry, Councillor.